I have a bit of a particular body type. I'm petite busty at the height of 5'1 with a cup size 32E. So from this, I have learned oodles of tips and tricks on how to look chic and stylish for both a petite body type as well as having a busty chest. Hey guys, it's Jess. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today I am sharing all of my best tips and tricks on how to dress for a petite body type. I'm sharing how to look taller, how to make your legs look more elongated, and how to dress and work with your petite body type to look more elevated, chic, and put together. Don't forget to subscribe down below to see more videos like this, and now let's hop on in. Hi, it's the next day. It was getting a little dark last night, so I decided to wait until the next day to finish filming. So jumping right into these tips, First up, let's talk about balance. So balancing the proportions of your outfit is very important no matter what you're styling, no matter what body type you're styling or what clothes you're wearing, balance is always key. However, when it comes to a petite body type and a busty chest, proportions and balancing proportions become even more important. So a good rule of thumb for any sort of styling, putting together an outfit, is if you're going to go tighter on the top, you'll go looser on the bottom. And likewise, if you're going looser on the top, you'll go tighter on the bottom. Now you can do tight on the top and tight on the bottom. However, this is a style that isn't always flattering and it doesn't always work. And the balancing proportions you typically want to avoid are looser on top and looser on the bottom. The loose silhouette of both of these pieces on most body types, like 99% of body types, it just doesn't work. It overwhelms the frame, it makes you look like you're drowning in fabric, and it doesn't give your body any definition. With a petite body type specifically, it is so easy to drown and lose your frame, lose any definition in copious amounts of fabric, so it's very important to have that balance when it comes to putting together your outfits. Showing some skin. Now, this is not like a risque type of thing. It doesn't at all have to be. You can if you want, if you want to, you know, show a little sexy skin. But here I'm talking about showing some skin again in terms of balance. So ensuring that your frame is not being overwhelmed by too much fabric. So some easy ways that you can show some skin are to unbutton the collar of your top. Here, if I were to have this buttoned all the way, it gives me the appearance of looking less elongated. It makes my neck look shorter, it cuts off my frame, but if I were to have this unbuttoned and have a bit of my collar and my chest exposed, it gives that nice elongated line and it lengthens my torso. One of my favorite things to do to draw some definition and really define my silhouette is to add a belt. A belt is kind of one of the more underrated things that is definitely easily forgotten, but it makes such a big difference. One of my favorite ways that I like to wear a belt that helps immensely is with a longer hem dress. Typically with a longer hem dress, I find that they don't really give me much shape, they don't really give me much definition, they kind of just hang and on my frame specifically, it kind of like tense out from my chest and then just hangs down. So by adding a belt at the waist, cinching my waist, defining it and giving myself some shape. It adds the perfect balance to my look and gives me the definition that my petite frame needs. High-waisted anything is always such a go-to. High-waisted anything will always make you look taller. The high-waisted detail of your bottoms is going to make your legs look longer by making it seem that your legs start up higher than they actually do and ultimately make you look taller because of this. Paying attention to hemlines and the crop of your bottoms is also very very important. I have found from my own experience that having a cropped hem to your jeans makes you look taller. Now I know this is a bit of like a more controversial thing in petite styling. Some people say that a crop makes you look shorter, but I have found that having a crop or a fold or a shorter hem to your jeans actually makes you look taller, especially when worn with certain types of shoes, really does make your legs look longer and makes you look taller. Now my recommendation is to either shop in petite sizing, short sizing, or look for a jean that has a cropped or shorter hemline. Not every store has petite or short sizing, but oftentimes you can find a cropped length where on taller people it might hit mid-calf or maybe right below the knee, but 
on a petite height. It hits right above the ankle, which I have found to be the perfect length. I feel like having a crop at the bottom and showing some skin, showing some ankle, not only adds that balance, but it also makes it seem like, ah, I'm tall and my legs have exceeded the length of these jeans. Look at me be tall. And I feel like that's kind of the vibe that having that crop gives. Now, if you're petite, you definitely can still wear long length pants, wide leg pants, and flared pants. I am particularly a big fan of flared jeans. I have found that it's really good to actually have them be very long, to wear that piece with a heel. Now, my particular favor is towards a heeled booty, typically black, that's what works best for me, but you definitely can wear whatever kind of heeled booty color you want. It adds a bit of height with the three to four inches or however many inches your heel is. But then also the longer length of the hem of the jeans, hiding most of the shoe or the boot, is going to create the illusion that you don't really know where your leg ends. It's so long, it's so tall, that it's kind of just hidden. And it just gives a nice, seamless, up and down, straight line. There's no visual breaks. And this is going to make you look endlessly tall. If you're going for a tighter fitting jean or pant that is a long length, you can further elongate the look of your legs by wearing a shoe that's in the same color as your pants. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to style a black skinny jean with a pair of black boots. This creates the seamless long visual line. It's just one continuous color from your pants into your shoes. And this is going to make your legs look miles long. Monochromatic outfits are one of my favorite types of outfits, not only to style for myself but to see on other people i think they are just such a go-to chic kind of outfit to put together and when it comes to styling monochromatic outfits can come in clutch for making you look taller as well so in the same way as the last tip where you have that one continuous line there's no visual breaks wearing a monochromatic outfit is going to do the same thing so one of my favorite go-to monochromatic outfits to put together is an all black look sometimes i like to go for more of a tonal look which is varying shades of that color in that color spectrum to give a bit of dimension. I also like mixing textures to add a bit more visual interest. So there are a bunch of ways to wear a monochromatic outfit. I want to make a note that monochromatic outfits don't have to be in all nudes or neutral colors. You can totally go all green or all purple or all red. It's totally up to you, but monochromatic just means all one color. So feel free to add your own style and spin and go for a color that you feel is your style and represents your aesthetic. If you love oversized pieces like I do, I am a huge fan of an oversized piece, especially sweaters and jackets. Oh, my favorite. A good guideline that I have found is wearing just one oversized piece with an outfit. So if you are going for a big oversized sweater, wear it with a tighter bottom. If you're going for a more oversized bottom, let's say big wide leg pants or flare jeans, go with a tighter top. It all draws back to the balancing formulas I mentioned in tip number one, but with an oversized piece, it can get kind of tricky because on a petite frame, oversized pieces can often overwhelm your frame. I do have a bit of a hack to wearing two oversized pieces together on both the top and the bottom. If you're not going to go tighter on the bottom, let's say you want to wear an oversized sweater with nice baggy jeans. You totally can, but make sure that your bottoms have some structure to them. Tucking your top gives you that definition to your waist. Now I know some people don't like tucking their top because they don't like that it draws attention to their waist, their midsection, and that's totally cool. But I do have a tip for you if you have found yourself in this situation. My tip is to size up your top. Go one size up and doing this is going to allow you to have that extra fabric to have to tuck in that's not going to be so taut on your midsection. Instead, it'll have a nicer drape and give you that definition to highlight your frame and your silhouette. Let's talk shoes. So nude shoes are going to be your best friend for elongating the appearance of your legs. Nude shoes are going to give you that seamless look of your skin, your legs just continuing on and on, and it's not going to have that visual break. Now it's important with this one to pick a nude that's in your skin tone. There are so many different shades of nude in just the beige nude color spectrum. There are more pinky undertone ones, there's more yellow undertone ones, there's more green undertone ones. So find a nude that matches your skin tone. If you have a deeper or darker skin tone, 
find a nude that matches you. Don't be swayed by that one basic band-aid nude shade. Find a nude that fits you and your skin tone. Another type of shoe that always elongates the look of your legs is a pointed toe shoe. Now, if you wear a pointed toe shoe with a nude shoe, so if you do like pointed toe flats or pointed toe nude heels, your legs are going to look so, so long. This is a very easy one to swap in. My favorite one to do is a pointed toe flat in a nude shade. It's my favorite. It's very comfortable and it's very chic. A crop jacket is another amazing option to opt for to give you the appearance of your legs starting higher up than they actually do. A crop jacket gives you that visual definition where your torso ends and your legs begin. The last tip that I have for you guys is specifically for a petite busty body type. And this is definitely going to be helpful for anybody, but it's particularly to help come in clutch for a petite busty body type. So, Petite Busty is inherently juxtaposing. They are kind of conflicting. My biggest tip that I have for styling a petite body type is to pay attention to two things. Number one is fit. How does a piece fit on you? Is there excess fabric on a spot? Is it too tight because your bust is too tight? Do you need to size up? Do you need to size down? It's very important to pay attention to how something is fitting on you. The second thing to pay attention to is the silhouette or the shape of the piece. What kind of overall shape is it giving you? So for example, most oversized pieces have a more circular type of fit. It's going to give you that circle. So on a petite body type, it's very important to pay attention to this because you want to make sure you're getting that balance. Same thing with a busty body type. If you're wearing a piece that kind of just silhouettes to where it tents out on your chest. That is one of the biggest problems I have when it comes to finding a drapey type of top that works on my body. It definitely can be tricky, but it's all about trying out different pieces and really paying attention to, again, the fit in the silhouette and figuring out what looks good, what feels good, what you feel confident and beautiful in. And though some of the pieces you like and wear might quote unquote go against these rules and guidelines, they're not things you have to have to stick by. These are just like helpful practices and tips and guidelines to help you figure out what looks best on you, why something might not be fitting or working on you or working with your body type and what you can wear or how you can style it instead to make it work for you. My whole goal with sharing these tips is to help you feel confident and beautiful and wear things that you feel beautiful and confident in. So take from this video what you like, what works for you, and definitely test things out and play around with things to figure out what works and what doesn't. And that's a wrap on today's video. So I hope you guys got some good value and some tips out of this video. And if you guys have any of your own petite styling tips that you think are absolutely essential and so helpful for styling a petite body type or a busty chest, please share them in the comment section to help other people out. I know I will be scanning through the comment section. I am always looking for new styling techniques and tips, so make sure to share things down below. I also wanted to know what your guys' thoughts on doing a video just dedicated to styling a bust to your chest, like a whole video about like tips for styling a bust to your chest. I don't know if there's a lot of interest in it, so let me know if you guys would be interested in my tips and tricks and techniques on how I style and like usually downplay a bust your chest. If you guys haven't checked out my style playlist, I'll link it down below in the description box. I have a ton of different styling videos that you guys might enjoy. Now for today's quote of the day segment, today's quote is actually quite simple and I may have shared it before, but it's really good and I wanted to share it again with you guys. Expect nothing, appreciate everything. That is my challenge for you guys for this week. Thank you again for watching today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye!